up, guys? Coming to you from, obviously, you know where, power by the hour. Hopefully, the video quality is good. I have to look up for their Wi-Fi because a lot of you guys complain that it's grainy. Um, car came in that is probably an absolute dream car for me. Um, ever since I was a kid, I would see these cars and be like, oh, my effing God. This is, like, perfection. And this thing came in, and I literally would not change a thing from the stripe combination to the wheel setup I wouldn't change a damn thing on this car I believe it's uh who built this one backdraft yeah. backdraft backdraft built Cobra um, I remember I, when I worked at Bombero's for a little bit uh, we had a couple of these cars and I never really got to drive one because um, I'd probably just drive it straight home. <laughs> but this gentleman dropped off this car from South Carolina. He had some uh, belt alignment issues with uh, some stuff. So he just brought it down here. But I thought I'd give you guys something to look at. Um, you know, a lot of you guys would say, you know, what, what engine would you put in this car? Well, you would put a 427. Okay, have you ever driven a car with a 427? It sucks. It makes good power, but it doesn't make... It's, it's not drivable terms of the modern stuff um, but this guy has a t56 no it doesn't have a t56 it's a five speed what transmission is it tkl 600 tkl 500 or 600 sorry i thought it was a t56 um but yeah so if you've ever driven it isn't it's an irs bmw irs a corner frank so let's take a peek Ugh. Backdrafts in Boynton? Boynton. Oh, yeah, you're right. They're Look at that. Built, they built the Why are tub. you yelling? Why are you yelling? <laughs> and the bodies in South Africa. Yep. They ship them here and they finish the assembly here. Yeah, this car. Um, like, I've driven I've driven old school big block cars, but, I mean, obviously with the advent of modern engines, uh, they don't compare. What does this car have that's powered by the hour specific? Can you do me a favor? Can you get the prop rod going? It's on, the si it's on this side. It's on this side, and then you gotta like sneak your finger in and put it up up in here somewhere. Oh, yeah. It's flush. It's really. I yeah, even like how they mount that. It's, and then you see here the little oh, slot. I know I'm gonna go nice and slow. Oh, there it is. oh, did you put it in there? Did you put it's it in. in. Oh, I think babe, it's in. I think it's in. She's gonna. You know when she's in. So anyway, this car's powered by a Roush 2.3 liter Coyote, making probably 600 wheel <laughs> without even sneezing at it. And this thing is a legit go kart, and it is. PBH equipped with their PBH swap brackets. That's an NA kit. Oh, that's just, a they supercharged just use our, kit. Uh, alternator bracket. They alternator have a custom bracket. drive other than, otherwise. Got it. So just the alternator bracket. And I mean, could you imagine with this thing? What the hell does this thing weigh? And to have 600 wheel. Got to be with 2,500 pounds. Yeah, 2,500 pounds and probably 600 and something wheel, and it gets 20 miles a gallon and then some, maybe more. Something like this with like a three, 320 rear gear. Would be so stupid. You go like 70 miles an hour in first gear. They're different. They're not. I drive them and I feel awkward in them because you don't sit straight. No, you sit sideways a little bit. Sideways. Yeah, if you look at the seat, how you're. If you look at the seats, right, they look like they're obviously a little sideways. Yeah, you're right. Oh, you're right. You sit off to the side on each side. So that's a little awkward, but it's not uncomfortable. And I think it's about as good as it gets when you're in such a small car with such a big power plant. So. No, I'm 5'11. 200 and something pounds. Ugh. You just burn your all together. Yeah. Like so right now I just burned my you shit. You just burned uh, everything off your legs. All that's gone. Gone. Forget it. Yeah, who cares? Skin Worth graph, it. Sit. Worth it. Skin graph? So what clutch setup does it have? Hydraulic? No, it's got to be it's got to be hydraulic I because think it is hydraulic. Can't be anything but. Any cables coming out of the fire? Let me close. Go ahead. All right, so you look cute. I look so I look at here. I look like a gorilla in this, right? I look like a stupid gorilla. Well, there isn't much that you look good in, so. Look at I mean, I, if I put my arm up against this, I feel the. Uh, well, it's not too uncomfortable there. It's no, just, it's you're on the paint. But I'm uh, I'm five eleven. <laughs> and uh, wow, we got a ride. Yeah, I mean, uh, look at the Uber. Wow, this isn't something you drive every day. No way. But I mean. It's iconic. Yeah, it's like one of those bucket list cars. Just come off. No, how does this work? No, I don't know. 
I mean, I want I want an 800 wheel. I don't want this at like 500. Well, 800 wheels is stupid. So if you die, your head chops right off. There's no chance of you coming back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Just a noggin. Now, you will burn your life getting living here. So you need to practice yoga. Real quick, guys. It's worth it. Oh. Wow, you're right. Well, the guard doesn't get too hot because it is stood off, but <laughs> you kind of have to stand up and get out. That's no. what you got to do. Yeah. How do you stand up and then? You, you do it here. How about your, there you go. Oh, God. There you go, Frank. Come on. You're not going to mess shit up. I want to break my phone. Come on. Let me take my pants off. Jeez, booger. Fucking, I'm trying to blow my nose. It's not happening. Oh, okay, so you're a five. What? Oh shit! You got in there like a pro. I'm easy. <laughs> I actually look better in it than I do. <laughs> you need a sport coat. If you had a sport coat, so let me see how you get out. Practice the uh, dismount. So you literally stand up inside it? Oh hell no! Could you imagine me doing that at a car show? With my car show chair? That's okay. That's all good. Oh, it's a beautiful car. I love these cars. I'm a ragging on them. I think they're beautiful. And I love how you bring it up and bring it down and just hold it. The battery's back there. Where's the battery? It's under one of these panels. God. It's on the side. Oh, man, I love this, dude. In the this is so freaking... Harnesses. This is so titties. So you can do double roll This bars. is double D titties, but the big footprint ones. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's thin footprint, then they droop down like now, a teardrop. These are big footprint change, titties. The wheel on the side of the road. footprint titties. You just keep one of these. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're they're right. knockoffs. They're yeah. knockoffs. And that's not a bad term. That's just... But what if you miss and you chip your shit? I don't know. So this is the wheel changing tool. That's how you just keep tightening. Right. Got it. And, and the bumper, are these three mile an hour bumpers? I'm not sure they're really. That's just something to keep them legal, I would imagine. Up and then right back down. Gorgeous car, my god. Bucket list car for sure. I'd get it. It'd have to make 800 wheel on the 85. Cam lobe tune. I would say I want a Roush 427 fuel injected stub stack, but I want the hard top version. Not nah. oddly enough. What? You don't want a blown. But I'm the kind of guy that likes the, the hard top Z4s. I like the M2s. I like those. Have you ever driven them? They're nice. They're very nice. They're very nice. And I, they have a race car that we used to tune a little bit on. It had the hard top on it with a wide body kit, and it looks awesome. It doesn't look like a Cobra, but I love this. Like I, that or get a Daytona. Now there's this in um, Factory Five Racing. I like the back. Yeah, I, honestly, super performance too. Yeah, super performance. I do like the back rough ones a little better. Um, I don't know why. Maybe they're a little wider. Maybe they're a little rounder to me. I'm not sure exactly what the deal is. The back draft has a unique, a unique thing where it's built as this car, right? So. It's an IRS. Right. It's a BMW IRS. They do have a lot of engine options. Yeah. The Factory 5 handles great. You can race them, but it's still a solid axle. Dude. Right. Solid axle. Totally and then usually what people IRS. do is put a 5 liter, 225 horse, which throw it can. in there. Which is fine. Which is fine. Sunday morning cars and Yeah, but dude, I want to drive this as much as possible because we live in... I'm sorry for you guys in the Northeast. I really apologize. Okay? This is a bad day here. I apologize. So anyway... Um, so this one actually works, Frank? You actually put gas here? No, okay, so That's this great. isn't, ooh, look at that. Got the gas gas, you can't put sugar in it while it's at dinner. This is the shit you valet in front of you, Tiki, and just everyone sees it next to the Lambo. You're like, I want that. Nobody knows what the fuck I'm saying. They do a really nice job. They Bring YOLO review. What the hell YOLO reviews? When did YOLO ever review anything? You have review. You review my car. You as YOLO? Everything. Not as YOLO. Yeah. Man. Just as a regular ass. Yeah, yes, just a, just a <laughs> Yeah, dude, this thing is absolutely perfect in my opinion. Um, Roush blower, 2-3 on a Coyote with a TKO 600. Fucking, this probably thing rolls the hell out. Does it have, um, what kind of exhaust does it have? It's got to have headers, right? Some kind of, yeah, there it is, okay. So that's got to be Coyote specific. They are, but you know, I don't know where they're putting the O2s now. The O2 should be, yeah. uh, oh, I, I, they should be here. They should. There's a bung here, but there's no O2, so I don't know how the hell they're. Oh, there it is, right there, right there, right, right at one of the banks. So it's in one of the primaries. So it's not good. <laughs> Where are you going? 
The liquor store? Let me get a, Christian, some Henny. Christian wants a vodka and red. Get some Henny. Well, it's, it's Wednesday, right? Yeah. We get the drink on Wednesday. Right. We yeah. drink here. Right. Can I get we'll some get Henny? We'll that rum and coke in a can. Right. Yeah. Gotta have an umbrella. Where are you going, Christian? Right there at the liquor store. You seriously going to the liquor store? They have fucking drinks there. I know. But, uh, Diet Coke. Where should I go? 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven. If you take a right on military, go down, and there's a CVS over here. If you go down past uh, Pep Boys, when you do the U- before you do the U-turn on uh, Belvedere, oh, right yeah. there. Go there. Give me Same a, uh, give me a di- Diet Coke. They got, they got the big... Diet, Diet Coke, please. I appreciate you, brother. I love you. See, we're just drinking here. That's how we do it. And uh, is it full bolt on? Well, I don't know. Let me see if all the bolts are on. Yeah, full bolt on, guys. So, okay, guys. Um, and then again, I don't want to criticize. But we, this is this is a teaching moment, right? When it comes to that primary and the O2 placement, or should I just shut the hell up? Well, no, it, it's not really getting a sample of okay. the entire bank. Just one cylinder. So this is a good thing to look at, guys. Well, they're limited. They can't. Right, they're limited, so exactly. But this O2 sensor should be in the collector. I uh, love, I love you guys at Backdraft, but it should be here because right now all we're sampling is cylinder number one, two, through number number four. So when we see a data log, it'll be number four cylinder. Um, again, we're not making fun, but if you're gonna put an O2 anywhere, that's guy at the end of the collector. So all the the primaries in the collector, that's where you sample your O2, not on one primary. So this is a good teaching moment that even a kind of a manufacturer, that which they're limited, they, I think, need to place the O2s in better areas. But if you go down past five cars, make a left, you pass the red car, you went too far. Exactly. So I'm going to go talk to Mike over here. The reason I'm making a live video now is because I actually caught up a little bit before I get back at the list. So I just wanted to, you know, show the guys what's going on. Let me wipe the lens. You look like you got a halo around you. I usually do. There I'm you eight. go. I'm an automotive engine. All right. This is a 13 to 14 GT500, made 800 wheel on a stock fuel system and E85. He did put cams in it, so he came back and he's going to put uh, 373s from 331s. And what else? What the hell else am I going to talk about? That's it. This thing made 800 wheel, right, last yeah. time? Uh, it made 800 something. Yeah, I think it was eight, right at 810. Now we put 373s in and uh, 20%. 20%. God dang, he's gonna send it. We is it. He's gonna have to lower boost probably. Shit, yeah, I'm gonna talk to him because man, that's that's a lot. That's a lot, a lot, a lot. So, anyway, 373s from 331s. I don't feel nice. I'll be zippy. I'll leave him alone. Um, let me see if they already got the 20% installed. Oh, yeah, it looks like they got a big old, big old bastard owl there. We're on live tonight. Yes, guys, For uh, thank you, John Lund, for all the ones that are asking. Um, we're going to go live tonight on YouTube, John and I. Oh, we're going yeah. to do, do a little live streaming action. Probably be on for an hour between 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock. I guess it's snowing like crazy up north, so hopefully they'll have uh, internet. <laughs> um, and then I'll uh, try to make sure that I have decent internet down here because I'll be the one hosting the show. And then, you know, my internet will be pretty much streaming everything. And it'll be on my YouTube, on the Alejandro Flores YouTube page on, on, on YouTube. Anyway back at this shit um but yeah anyway just kind of wanted to show you what's going on then now I'll, I'll go outside hopefully the um i really hope <laughs> that the signal stays good when i go outside because there's some really nice cars outside again i apologize if the signal strength isn't great that guy mike is so hot absolutely easier to answer questions and ha 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 i'll go out and sit in the snow that's what john says okay sorry if it's windy but you know this is bad weather for us 75 and windy Frank's car, Coyote Swap, Seniors, Cobra with the 6R80 and the 4R200 hub, tuned with a Coyote computer, going to get some cutouts, we're going to play with the wastegates and turn up the boost, we're looking to make high nines or maybe low four figures, a thousand or so, this guy is in for an automatic transmission swap, 1314 Grabber Blue, GT500, yes Jay Corton, why is my channel called Alejandro Flores, because that's my fucking name wrong with you this guy is a twin turbo coyote with 6r80 and a 4r200 hub fluid twin turbo kit went 820s on i don't know what 27 psi junior something like that this car is so titties it's not even funny i like clean this engine bays around look at this god damn this now this car has a modified fluid hot side 
This thing is absolutely gorgeous. When 820s at 27 PSI to like 168 or something like that, Cobra didn't intake. Twin 65 for all you monoblade nut huggers. It's a twin 65. It's blow through. It's all good. Exactly. Baby boost. We're going to send it at about 32 to 35. And the goal is uh, be the quickest 6R80 equipped car on the planet, I think. And there's a couple of cars we're tuning that are looking to shoot for that. This one along with uh, Blue Goose and other Grey Goose. This car is a car out of the Fort Myers area. Very nice car. Came here for transmission work. You guys might recognize it if you're in, the, in that area, but it is a. Uh, it looks like it's all business, right? And it is really all business, especially when you look in the front. He came here to get some transmission work from the best in the business. On three twin turbo. Look, this is a clean install, guys. This is super clean. Make fun of the turbos all you want or the turbo kit. This motherfucker probably runs low eights. With a 6R80, I believe Mr. Sai Lee is doing the tuning on this one. Wing? <laughs> what wing? John's talking about a wing. So this car is an on 3 twin turbo kit. Low, low 8 second car. Very, very clean. Getting a built transmission from Power by the Hour. I think uh, John was referencing this wing over here. <laughs> Frank is a road racer, so he wants all the downforce. That is nice. It's street legal, too. We're going to do a miniature shootout this Saturday with this car. So Saturday, the goal is this. Run it on pump gas with a stock intake manifold. Then put a 2018 intake manifold on it. See what it makes pump gas on pump gas. And then E85 and go for max effort. That's the goal this Saturday. I'll try to bring you that video because comparison video seems to be like a thing for you guys. You're right, that wing, I've nicked my elbow and face on it a couple of times. Uh, tax Collector, you know who Tax Collector is. If you don't know, this video on my YouTube page has over 150,000 views. This car made well over 1,100 wheel through a Turbo Hydro 400. It is a 1314 uh, GT500 grudge car. <laughs> and you know how it's a grudge car? Bum, ba -dum, bum. Not besides that. Yeah, it's it's all business, and uh, this guy straight gets it. This guy is a great customer of ours. Um, this thing rolls out. It's really fast. I dare to say it's one of the fastest and quickest factory computer GT500s on the planet. I'm saying on the planet. Now, can we verify that? Well, no, because it's a grudge car. But we do have the time slips, and we know what it runs or it has run. It ain't a problem. This thing can get it. You know what I'm doing? I'm doing all this so that I can just upload it on my YouTube channel anyway. Because you guys love this shit. Has tuned by Lund Racing Engage factory computer. ARL5 for the tuners out there. This guy is tuned on an ARL5. Just a little four something liter Whipple. Uh, with a with a AutoZone gold battery. Um, this thing has a return style fuel system, ID 1700s. I mean, all the boost. Again, guys, this is probably the quickest and fastest factory computer GT500 anywhere. Period. Very cool. This car is here. He is getting a motor built by LM. This is a super snake. Not just a snake, it's a super snake. So. Uh, this car is going to get a Kenny Bell 3.6 built LM engine with cams, the whole nine yards. Um, beautiful car. It's got the uh, Shelby mufflers, which everyone loves and they're very sought after. They're pretty. Car needs a wash, but whatevs. It's all good. We got this other car here. I don't think the door is open. Um, I'll try it. Nope. This car is a Whipple supercharged GT350 on 22s. Um, this thing is probably uh, one of the better daily drivers. If you were going to pick a, a high-end daily driver, this would be it. Uh, this car, I drove Pat Spina's um, yellow GT350 with a Whipple and a 4.0 upper and a 20% lower. I think it makes 800 wheel and that thing straight gets it badass. And this is a similar setup. It's a E85 Whipple supercharged uh, GT350 and every GT350 on the planet should have 
800 plus wheel, period. You guys know my 19 with the tick package. <laughs> my 15 also with a tick package. I'm going to keep the GT350 intake manifold in it for a couple of reasons. I'm good. Damn it. I always think it's open and it's never open. Let me see. Let me see if I left my keys over here. What's up, bird? It's a fan. I know. I know, I know, I know. So where am I? There we go. Alright, so I'm going to keep the GT350 intake manifold in the car for a couple of reasons. I want to make a couple of more comparison tests that I'm going to try to get together uh, on the channel. I'm going to do the next test on this intake manifold setup is going to be throttle bodies. Because we try to discourage people from buying aftermarket throttle bodies because the stock one is fine. But some people just, for whatever reason, want to get it no matter what. So right now it's equipped with a GT350 throttle body. Why? Because it didn't have an adapter in time for the 350 intake and a stock 18 uh, cold air. But the next test is going to be this. I'm going to buy an adapter and I'm going to put the stock throttle body on, run it. Then put the 350 throttle body on, run it. Not change anything drastic in the car, just tune it for the throttle body. And then there's one more throttle body that I'm going to try. Yeah, I'll just go get it. Because I gotta burn up a you know a couple of minutes with this thing. There's one more throttle body I want to try that bolts up to the GT350 intake manifold. Let's just say hi to the guys here real quick. You're live. 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 I'm live. You're live. Okay. So, and the third. Damn, you guys live in a nice area to be leaving cars like that. Hey, the name is Gabo. We live next to an airport where there's a sheriff's officer right there. And when the president comes, there's CIA and fucking all the security and FBI. Everyone and your mom is here taking care of the president. So it's not an issue in terms of security. So I'm going to try the stock throttle body, the GT350 throttle body, and this motherfucker. That's right. If I can get this guy to fit the stock intake manifold, the, the stock or the GT350 intake manifold, I'm going to put it on, and you guys are going to then see if a quote-unquote bigger throttle body makes any more power with the stock cold air. Well, of course it's not, Alex. Well, then we'll just make another test with aftermarket cold airs, huh? Because I need all the YouTube follows and likes so I can probably buy another vehicle. That's how I roll. So it's going to be stock throttle body, GT350 throttle body, Edelbrock 103. <laughs> That'll be a, a funny as hell test. Hush money, Fairmont. Um, finally got it out. We're going to start doing some work on it. Really going to try to make it to Texas 2K. Already started putting the brakes together, which, you know, as you know, is an arduous task. Um, so once the brakes get put together, Jake finishes the transmission. It'll be pretty much wiring nightmare, make a drive shaft and see what the, the deal is, okay? We have a 1314 GT500 here. Came in for some throttle body issues, but now they are fixed. So we'll see. How this car rolls out came in we cleaned it up and it looks to be good to go as of now so we'll see if he drives it after a week or so and um we'll see how he ends up doing now this car is an interesting story i'm not going to say too much about it but uh this is a good teaching moment for a lot of people that before you bring your car to a dyno make sure it's mechanically sound i think he has a couple of issues that they're going to address i'm not going to say much about it because i don't really know much about it so it, it looks to be a badass little ride but he's going to take it back mechanical issues see i get my diet coke delivered to me thirsty thank you can you open it for me <laughs> oh thank you look at you go what the fuck well you want to take the cap off too yeah take the you cap off fuck the <laughs> okay let me switch it to me and we'll end it here okay just wanted to kind of bring you a quick little video um telling you what's going on here at the shop and i'll be able to download this and upload it to the youtube channel again tune in today at eight o'clock we're gonna talk some shit answer some questions follow the chat uh junior will be on live with me and my youtube channel named alejandro flores see you guys at eight o'clock talk to you later